what if Clone Trooper Tup had killed Anakin Skywalker? So, Clone Trooper Tup has killed Anakin Skywalker. Meanwhile, the Jedi Tipli and the Jedi Tiplar are still alive. But that doesn't really make much of a difference. So Anakin Skywalker is dead, and of course, Fives restrains uh, Tup, and Rex is furious and wants to kill Tup, and Tup and Fives are just like the clones and the Jedi are in so much disarray. And so Count Dooku gets the message, and he passes it on to Darth Sidious, who is of course furious, and Darth Sidious just wants to lash out at the Kaminoans and kill Lama Su and all of them, but the point is, it's not really the Kaminoans' fault. The, the chip malfunctioned because of a virus on Ringo Vinda. And Darth Sidious can't really kill the Kaminoans because they're the, one, they're the ones uh, keeping the clones intact, so he can't do that yet. So what happens? Well, Darth Sidious would... At first, he would be mad, but then he would figure, hey, this changes. This doesn't change much because Darth Sidious is still going to win. He's still destined to win anyway because the Jedi are so terrible. And so Darth Sidious would figure out a way. To, he would just keep his original plans for the most part, with the only change being that Anakin would just not be his apprentice because Anakin is dead. And so Darth Sidious would have Count Dooku kidnap Tup. And I think Rex and Fies would still be smart enough to where they would find a way to rescue Tup. And they would bring Tup back to Kamino where Shakti would look after Tup and find out what happened. And so the rest of the arc would play out exactly the same. And of course, Fives would be incredibly paranoid. And Fives would still be on the run. And Fives would still try to assassinate the Chancellor. But Fives would, of course, fail. And so, obviously, with no Anakin around, I think Rex, Captain Rex and Shakti would go looking for Fives. And Fives would still die. Captain Fox would still kill Fives. And Shakti and Rex would be devastated and really sad and terrible and uh, just really distraught. But the rest of the Clone Wars would play out exactly the same way. And I think the son of Dathomir would take place shortly after. And, of course, Tip Lee would die in the son of Dathomir because Count Dooku would kill Tip Lee in the son of Dathomir as he originally did. And Darth Maul and Mother Talzin would still lose and Mother Talzin would die. And Darth Maul escapes back to Mandalore. Now, in this scenario, Darth Maul is not going to try and kill Anakin Skywalker because Anakin Skywalker is already dead. So what does Darth Maul do? Well, he figures he still has the Mandalorians and all the neutral systems. And he also has the criminal underworld. Now, keep in mind that the Empire took control of Mandalore easily because the Empire already had troopers, soldiers stationed in Mandalore due to the Siege of Mandalore. But in this case, the Siege of Mandalore wouldn't actually happen because there would be... Uh, or maybe it would. Maybe it would. Maybe Obi-Wan Kenobi would go to the Siege of Mandalore. It, it's interesting. Maybe, but I, I doubt Darth Maul would have allowed the Siege of Mandalore to happen if Obi-Wan, if Anakin Skywalker were not in the picture. So we'll come back to that later. But in the immediate aftermath of Anakin Skywalker's death, everyone else, everything else will be the same except for Padme. And in that, I don't think Padme was pregnant yet, but if she were, she would, but it doesn't really matter because if Padme finds out that Anakin is dead, then Padme would just lose the will to live and she would die. Padme would also die and join Anakin. Like Padme would just die if Anakin if she knew Anakin were dead. Padme would be dead, so Luke and Leia never exist. They were never conceived, or maybe they were conceived and they were in the womb, but since their mother died, like they also died too. Whatever. Padme and Anakin are dead. But of course, I mean Bail Organa and Mon Mothma can pick up the slack and Bail Organa and Mon Mothma would handle uh Padme's work. And so that wouldn't really change the rebel faction, rebel alliance. Meanwhile, what happens? Well, everything turns out the same. And But in Revenge of the Sith, obviously, um, Mace Windu and Yoda would go to rescue Chancellor Palpatine, and Count Dooku would fight Mace Windu and Yoda. Although, maybe not in this case. Actually, you know what? Let me backtrack on that, because... Obviously, Darth Sidious knows that if Mace Windu and Yoda fight Count Dooku, Count Dooku's going to die. So that wouldn't happen. Uh, because without Anakin Skywalker, Darth Sidious still needs Count Dooku to do his dirty work. Because Darth Sidious only got rid of Count Dooku when he realized that Anakin, when he knew that Anakin would be um, turning soon. When he knew that Anakin was in his fingertips. 
but with Anakin out of the picture, that changes. So I think Darth Sidious would, at the end of the war, I think Darth Sidious' encounter could would allow for General Grievous to be killed. Maybe allow for General Grievous to be killed on the Battle of Coruscant. And then Count Dooku and General Grievous would, and they, excuse me, so yeah, Count, so they would let General Grievous be killed on the Battle of Coruscant, and then Darth Sidious and Count Dooku would go on and kill all the Separatist leaders. And then Darth Sidious would execute Order 66, and all the clone troopers would turn on the Jedi and start killing them across the galaxy. And Count Dooku and Darth Sidious together would march into the Jedi Temple, and they would destroy everyone there. And Yoda and Mace Windu are no match for Darth Sidious. Darth Sidious, as I've said it so many times in previous videos, Darth Sidious would kill Yoda and Mace Windu in a heartbeat. Like, they would be no match for him if he were using his full strength. Because Darth Sidious was playing around with Yoda in their fight. He could have killed Yoda at any time. It, it's pretty obvious. Yoda's struggling. And same with Mace Windu. Darth Sidious, Mace Windu was struggling too, and Darth Sidious could have destroyed him any time. So Darth Sidious just destroys everyone in the Jedi Temple. And meanwhile, Count Dooku was looking for Jocasta Nu because Count Dooku, you know, had a special relationship with Jocasta Nu. Um, and he would go find her and Count Dooku would probably either capture Jocasta Nu or I think Jocasta Nu wouldn't go willingly so she would probably die. But then they would have access to all the Jedi Temple secrets and everything. So Darth Sidious and Count Dooku would have secured the Jedi Temple and killed all the Jedi. And meanwhile, uh, Darth Sidious would still use the Inquisitorius, the the Grand Inquisitor and all the Inquisitors, and I don't think he would replace Count Dooku with the Grand Inquisitor because um, the thing is, Count Dooku, as old as he is, he's still very powerful, and I think the Grand Inquisitor was probably a lot weaker than Count Dooku, so I don't think uh, Darth Sidious would replace Count Dooku yet. And so Count Dooku would, Count Dooku and Darth Sidious would kill all the Jedi, and Darth Sidious and Darth Tyrannus would rule the galaxy. They would have the galaxy under their control, except for the neutral systems and the criminal underworld, which I think by then Darth, City, Darth Maul would probably um, have a plan because Darth Maul would figure out that Darth Sidious' original plan was to have Anakin Skywalker. But he now with Anakin Skywalker dead, Darth Sidious has Count Dooku, who is just really old and pretty much useless. So um, Count Dooku. So Darth Maul would probably figure that Count Dooku is a much more vulnerable target than Darth Vader would ever have been. So I think Darth Maul would declare war on Count Dooku and Darth Sidious. And Darth Maul would, of course, have the neutral world, the 2000 neutral worlds, as well as the criminal syndicate, criminal underworld. But Darth Maul would also recruit the Separatists because the Separatists were very angry with the Empire. They did not like the Empire, so Darth Maul would recruit the former Separatists, as well as the rebels within the Republic, of so Mon Mothma and Bell Organa. And even though they probably wouldn't want to work with him necessarily, they would still agree. And there would be an... So after the end of the Clone Wars, there would just be a second galactic... There would just be a second war, like, right after. And Darth Maul would probably also recruit the Kaminoans, because and he would have the criminals help liberate Kamino and Lamasu and Tanwi and Nalase would escape would accept Darth Maul's deal because they want to stay in business, they want to keep making money without going extinct. And so Darth Maul would probably make his own clone army. Darth Maul and Lamasu would and Prime Minister Lamasu and Darth Maul would work out a deal where they can make their own clone armies. Maybe they'll clone Night Sisters or Night Brothers or Mandalorians or him Darth Maul himself, like who knows? And they will keep pumping out a big army, and the criminals would just riot on Corazon and just destroy everything and stage a big rebellion. And maybe Darth Sidious and Count Dooku would have to move the capital. And the rebels would also do a lot of damage. And so would the neutral rules and the former Separatist worlds. And Darth Maul would reprogram the battle droids. And there would be an all out war because the Empire, once they've lost control of Kamino, I mean, they were going to shut down the cloning facilities anyway. Like, the Empire would be short on troops, and they were trying to recruit just regular people to be stormtroopers. But recruiting them is a lot harder, and training them is even harder. So, yeah, so Darth Maul would have the new clone armies, as well as new droid armies, as well as the Rebellion, as well as the Neutral Worlds, as well as the Mandalorians, all the Mandalorian warriors who fight to the death, as well as just the criminals, the gangsters, the thugs, and everyone. So... Darth Maul would be quite a force to be reckoned with, and 
and Darth Sidious knows that with Count Dooku, things aren't going to last long. So they would fight, and I think Count Dooku would probably kill killed in one of the battles because let's just say the war takes like, let's just say the war took so long that it took like at least 10 years. By then, Count Dooku would be 93, and I doubt he would survive a fight with Darth Maul because Count Dooku being 93 would just be way too um, feeble to survive a fight with Darth Maul, who was still pretty young at that point. So Count Dooku would die, and... I think, I mean, Darth Sidious is so powerful that he would probably, that he could win, but it would be very difficult. So even if Darth Sidious wins, it's still a very uh, hard battle, and it would not be easy, and there would not be much of a galaxy left to rule. But of course, I think maybe Darth Sidious would ramp up production on the Death Star, but maybe Darth Maul would see that, and he would take over Geonosis too. Who knows? Because the Geonosians, Maybe Darth Maul would uh, save the Geonosians, and before the Geonosians get sterilized, Darth Maul would save them, and the Geonosians would rebel against, revolt against the Empire. And the Geonosians also had the zombie bugs, you know? So the Geonosians could use the zombie bugs to um, maybe reanimate some dead Jedi and some dead uh, corpses throughout the galaxy and make a zombie army. And then maybe Darth Maul knows the um, Night Sister magic to bring back the zombies, and so he would have another zombie army. And yeah, I think. By sheer force, overwhelming force, Darth Maul would win and he would take over the galaxy. Of course, Darth Sidious could just escape to Exegol. So maybe Darth Maul would track him down and just destroy all of Exegol. Maybe Darth Maul would gain control of the Death Star and just blow up Exegol and just destroy Darth Sidious altogether. So I think in this scenario, just by simply if Tup killed Anakin, I think it could actually open a door to where... A lot of crazy things could happen, and this was just one of them. I mean, there's infinite possibilities for um, what-if scenarios, but this, yeah, there, this was one of them, so here is mine.